Hi guys. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about this prop. This prop is from DS9. So this prop, when uh, I believe it's Cisco and Quark go into the gamma quadrant through the wormhole and are captured by the, I believe the Vorta. I may be wrong. Please put it down below and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they're captured by the Vorta um, and are in a in a cell and each one of them is wearing this. In fact, there's a Vorta in their cell with them and they don't know that they're the ones who are, they captured who captured them. So they were kind of a mole kind of th character. But anyway. So this is the tracking collar. This, this actually has, has a woven uh, brass, basically the original was belting that was cut down into strips. The belting would come off of the back of these pieces to go into that piece there, that piece there. But these were like on the side, I believe. Um, and then it went all the way around the back. These are constructed out of a piece of eighth inch acrylic, styrene strip thick. It's like eighth inch by, by uh, three sixteenths or so. Uh, 40 thousandths tile from Evergreen. This is the tile. Um, we used a lot of tile in some cases because you could break it off along the lines of the tile and have perfectly squared pieces without having to go through so much. Or you might have to go in and score it in that line, but you were pretty much guaranteed you're going to snap it off really nice. Um, and it made it easier to make, you know, pieces with X amount of tiles, depending on which size tile you're using. Judging by the now melted into the surface, meaning over time, sometimes when you glue a strip of plastic down, it will transfer some of that detail to the surface. And this is like the 16th inch by 16th inch tile. I can I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can see it there. Now, as far as this piece, this this was the controller of the of the unit, and this is made out of out of acrylic and styrene. And the way this worked was uh, Quark jimmied off this panel and was trying to pick the lock. This particular piece here is a piece of, uh, that looks like 40 thousandths styrene as far as this, this main base here. And then it's got some strips, it's got some nail heads, it's got a piece of uh, etched brass in the background. And then all of this is these colored wires are just that colored wires from a um, from uh, some ribbon cable that we would use. This is the same type of ribbon cable we would also use in some cases to make hand grips on pieces. That piece would interlock into that section there. Uh, this has been recessed back a little bit here so that it would fit it within this framing that's been installed inside this acrylic piece. Um, this acrylic piece was all just sheet construction. It wasn't machined out. It was simply uh, all sheet stock cut to a thick, specific thickness and glued in place. Um, and then uh, in some cases, we might put some dental acrylic into the corners sometimes, not always. Um, and then this is all styrene stripping to... Uh, to indicate walls and stuff on the inside and make give it a little more depth. Now this one actually had slide switch right here that went, it, went in, into the back of that. Why it was a slide switch, I don't know. I think it's because we couldn't really find a lot of really during that time period, because I believe this is first season, we couldn't find a lot of push on push off switches that were that tiny. Now, as this was being built, we also, I don't know if I can get this off. It's been a while since these screws have been out. When this was being built, 
we were, uh, I, I, if, if, if I have my choice, I will try and build things, uh, with having electronics in mind and prefer to go ahead incorporated into the actual piece. So in this particular case, we've got our, our two LEDs here, which are right up here on the top. So we have clearance there. And then right here, we have room for two coin cells. And as I have said in other videos during this time period, DS9 was the start of us being able to get smaller things that were more, such as batteries and LEDs that didn't take as much power to run over a long period of time. So this has a built-in battery box with threaded inserts installed into this. This is done acrylic here inside this. That's what this yellow portion is here. And we would take a piece of threaded rod and screw it into that both of these holes when we were pouring this side of the mold. So that when we were done pouring the two pieces of mold, the, the two half, halves of the mold, we could take a threaded insert and that piece of threaded rod and insert it into the mold so that when we cast these pieces, the insert would be encapsulated in that resin, giving us metal threads to allow us to uh, unscrew and screw it together as many times as we wanted because it would be metal threads on metal threads. I'm, I'm going to let you see this, this, this particular piece a lot closer. And as you can see, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's different. <laughs> um, this was basically taken off of a drawing. Um, but, you know, we have a little bit of leeway when we're building stuff like this because, in, you know, when you've, when you've got a couple of days to build something and mold it and cast it and put the electronics in there, you kind of have a little bit of leeway that you, you know, you're not going to get arguments from the prop master when you, you need to get things done quickly. Once again... This is the locking device that Quark and uh, Cisco had around their necks after going through the Gamma Quadrant. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you feel so inclined, please become a patron. Thank you.